What's going on guys? Welcome back. So I'm gonna continue on with my riding season series here and talk about another cool luggage product from Kemimoto. These folks sent one out for me to take a look at and to review. And I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite ones because of the versatility and the usefulness that it has for me. So what is it? It's their Kemimoto Sissy Bar Bag. Now this is a cool thing. I'm sure you've seen other ones from Harley and things like that are pretty similar, but this thing is pretty slick. Again, as with the other ones, it's got the side pouch here for a cup or a bottle. It's got a little side pouch here that you can Velcro in to put a wallet or a phone. Um, on the other side here, you've got netted spring-loaded container there you've got these things at the top where you can strap a jacket or something in there you can open this up and see that you've got some storage in there and it expands out if you have more stuff in there because you're taking more on your trip than you thought or you get some stuff on your trip so that's pretty cool about that but let me uh get a little closer view on this and we'll walk through all the different compartments and show you the stuff that it can do. So, be right back. All right, so now we're zoomed in a little closer. You can see a little bit better view of what the bag looks like. You can see you got an opening here in the front center that opens up. What this comes with is a nice rainproof cover that you can stick over your bag for dust or heat or whatever you wanna do when you're riding in case you need that. It also, like with the other bags, comes with a series of additional straps and a shoulder strap that'll go over and connect to the corners here so you can carry it into a hotel or a restaurant or whatever if you're just traveling for a day trip or something. So pretty cool with that. Uh, going from the front, you've got nice piping here on it. You've got straps for bundling up something else to put on it so you could Loosen these up, pull it out, and hook something in there like another jacket or some additional baggage or something like that, a tool kit. On the side, you've got the water bottle uh, holder right here compartment. You've got another Velcro compartment here that you can put stuff in. On the inside, you've got this nice little compartment in here that's got a slot in there and this little rain cover jacket that kind of covers over a little bit to kind of help protect anything in there, which I thought was kind of cool. On the opposite side, you've got, again, elastic netting to put something quick, gloves, a hat, whatever you want in there to help tie it in, and even a strap to help snug that thing down. And again, uh, same with mentioned before, if you open this up, you can extend it out, and that does that on both sides. And then in this compartment, again, another section to put more stuff in there for that, which is kind of cool there. On the top of it, again, the elastic stuff goes in here, and then another zipper bag here that's netted that you can put stuff in there. And of course, the piped Kemimoto logo. So pretty functional bag. The reason why I like this one is because this is the perfect size for me to put camera equipment in and things in here for easy access if I'm riding. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to, to carry a good assortment of stuff. It's well padded inside and protected. And this is the same water resistant material, the 1680 um, material that works really well on the other bags. Nice quality zippers. They move nice and smooth and gives you a lot of instant functionality to expand or whatnot if you need to. So pretty happy with this. I think it's pretty cool. I've used similar bags like these, but I'm excited to try this one out because as I go on these rides to do various filming and different things for different trips, it just makes it very accessible and easy and it's a small footprint. So. And there's plenty of mounting options. Again, with the straps, you can do it with a backrest, without a backrest, with a luggage rack, without a luggage rack. Um, very functional. So I'll spin the camera around to the back again, and we'll take a look 
and show how it goes on Suicide Shoppers backrest that I got on here for my heritage and you can kind of see different mounting options for it. So be right back. Okay, so we got to turn around now so you can kind of see it on the seat. This is how it would sit if you did not have a luggage rack like I don't, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to show you how you can do it on one with a luggage rack. So you have a handle right here that you can carry with, and then you also have this Velcro strap right here. And this is adjustable, so you can pull it in and pull it out. Now, if you had a luggage rack, you would spin this guy around, slide it down over, put it on like that, and Velcro that strap up, and that would hold that in place. I don't have a luggage rack, so this will just hang down and cover my plate, but you kind of get the idea. The other way you can do it, if you have a situation like mine, where you have the backrest and no luggage rack, you want to put it on the seat, same premise, where you've got the strap right here, and that goes in, and you just take this guy, loosen up some slack, slide it over the back. I put it right through the handle, slide that guy down, right? And I'm also including the strap that's in here because I wanna cinch that guy up to the back of my backrest, right? So, got that sitting on there like that. I've got this loosened up. Now you take this and you pull this guy tight. Take your Velcro strap, pull this over and snug it. And there you go, it's nice and secure. Notice I've got a water bottle in here to give you a reference to what that's like and everything is easy access. Now if this little wobbling bothers you, again, you've got all these eyelets everywhere that you can go and attach these straps to, like so. Disconnect it, wrap it around your luggage bar if you're a luggage rack if you want, or your um, sissy bar, and then just cinch that up and do it on each side, and that'll strap that thing tight and stop from any kind of movement. So, pretty impressed with the functionality, and like I said, things are in easy access. You've got a water bottle right here, sitting in a signal light, I can reach back, pull it out, get a drink. I can have a jacket underneath here, have my phone in there. Not that I wouldn't use it in the front, but gloves on the side. There's all kinds of functionality that this thing does that uh, is pretty versatile. And so, pretty impressed with it. I think Kemimoto knocked it out of the park again with this type of design, and it's affordable and really nice quality. So definitely worthwhile taking a look at, but pretty simple. Straps it on, ties it down, bind it up however you want. Put your shoulder straps on, just connect right here, and you can take it with you into whatever place you want to go. So cool, let me flip around. We'll do some closing thoughts. All right, back in a sec. All right, so there you have it. A pretty quick video, a great product. I'm very thankful to Kemimoto for sending this out to let me do a review and kind of go over it. I'm definitely gonna be using this one frequently. Uh, just so much functionality with everything that I would need to do, especially with hauling equipment on a short day run or something like that. Or, hey, if you go to the store, gotta put some groceries in there, small stuff. If you go to a parts store and get something small, you know, functional and gives you a lot of storage space. So. Uh, again, great job, Kemimoto. Thank you very much for allowing me to take a look at it and show it on here. I think that many people will find this thing very useful, very functional, and um, knocked out of the park, man. I know I keep saying it, but they did. So great job. Thank you very much. Give me your comments and feedback in the, in the channel, and I will put the description as usual in here with the link to this so you can get one for yourself. And um, be good humans. See you on the next one.